outstanding. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome again to another tutorial video. Don't know, it's a boy Eldorado day and thing. And thing. Today, I want to look on how to give your instruments them space and balance them without the instruments them in particular after the clash and thing. So, you know, you can get a really a real sense of where um, your instruments them there and you won't have to think what a clutter up a mix and what a um, the mask are the sound because sounds a clash together can create masking and you really want that for your instrument so on this particular track um, do some balancing not really balancing but some instrument did load than others and thing so we're going to do some levels and panning in this particular um instrumental so we're going to play making you hear how really loud it is so please turn on a speaker or your headphone um and do some gain staging while you know they listen to this track so because our player make you hear how really awful and annoying it is before levels and panning. <laughs> play no more because this is extremely loud for me personally and me know it's really loud for you too uh so first and foremost what me always do control shift or command shift if you're on a mac and click one and just drag it go across and just turn on everything all right me always use this concept from back in the day and all analog consoles even now you don't know you, you, you have to push gain on your faders on the console in order to get are you going through the the, the 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 particular channel and things so it's the same principle we really apply in the daw in which in the daw note in order to get sound uh what it did is just leave it at unit again here so as a player instrument is just play I hear everything so a good principle is to mix low you leave yourself with a lot of headroom while mixing and doing the gain stages gain staging in which you know when you apply compression and all of these things and fancy distortion and you know your mix bus so eventually your sounds are gonna get really louder so uh let's do some levels first before we do some panning so we go so go select the course, the busiest part of the mix, and um, snap to line. So we we'll do it over. Snap to line. So we go play it. So we now get the sound. So far, you can hear these three particular incidents, the strings, the pod, and the, the arpeggiated melody. Alright, so you can hear your three melody occupy them own space so we're gonna add one more to it so this and this in the instrumental is layered together so you want to get the two of them on a, a balance 
in which them can really blend really well together even to make one sound so you know really want them off you see the you want to separate them or you want them blend together so you have to find the right balance between layered sound so you can really get the sense that a one sound in which is it is two so make a work on that all right sound like one sound now so if we take one one put it back so we take with this one all right so it is layered so it's so like one sound now now we're gonna move on to this sound over here put some gain so as you can hear as more sound um goes into the mixer you realize that, that some sound are being masked out while some sounds are a bit dominant so we just mark these two and push it all right so this is the main like the main melody this is the body of the sound now this is the main card I mean this is the body of the sound this is the melody and this is the counter melody all right so push our next sound in in, in I another counter melody And if you listen closely you can hear all of the sound them same way but we are not down there we are not done there no so we're gonna put some bass in it all right so what the what the bass does it helps it to it helps it to fill up the, the instrumental some more so what it is what it is doing now it's you know adding some low end to it so it, it feels a bit more full all right but it, it is a bit too wide so we just so mono it up some more of the, the, the body help with um some more body on the sound so we are take them adding the drums them um, start with the kick and all of these drum sounds come from um the essential the essential drum kit so you can check it out on my website and thing you get a copy today Anyways, we'll start with the kick. Snare. So the club and the um, the sound from Vanguard, they are playing in conjunction together. But I want to hear the club and I want to hear this too. So we have to find a balance with the club and this. So we just so adjust the balance, the, the volume for the club. Alright, so we're hearing it there. 
So we'll move on to the side stick snare. Alright, so this is playing in conjunction with every other clap in conjunction with the vanguard instrument. So it's like a layered sound every other clap. Take it away. Alright, so what levels helps you to do is not, you know, not getting that brutal um, sound, you know, when everything is at unity again and nothing is not fighting each other um, as much as it used to. So, uh, we'll do a little panning, we kind of do some stereo separation and things. So, we kick now, we move back to the kick. We need it in the center, so we just so put it 100% mono. now I think we'll turn it down a little it's a bit too dominant and this now we don't pan them separately pan one about 25% to the left and 25% to the right So we will find this about 45% uh, to the right and 45% to the left. It depends on the taste. This is spun a bit too much to one side. So this will turn it down and then we gain it again. Okay, it seems a bit dominant in the instrument and I don't really want this sound really dominant. So this sounds like, to me, it sounds a bit to the left. So let me just open it a bit to the right. It might, it looks balanced, but it doesn't sound balanced. So. Think what I do with some more bass. All right, so this is a bit more nicer until you reach the mix down stage. You don't know EQing and compressing. We bring out the sound more, so we get more separation and all of these things. A more cleaner and fuller sound when you come on to the mixing and thing. But in order to avoid clashing and placing the sounds in their own space, you have to do levels and panning first before you do anything else to the mix. You see, even before you even route it through a mix bus, I mean, do your levels and panning first. And you can do that, you know, while making the instrumental. But, you know, some instrument might sound loud in the particular um, composed stage of the instrumental and thing so 
you know you do little levels there but again when you finish and satisfy with the rhythm and thing you do a new levels and pan it you know so until next time you don't know El Dorado day and thing don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on instagram facebook and twitter and join our community um that's a whatsapp group in the link below and don't forget to leave your comments and things so until the next video tell her how to day upon a beat peace out